The music of India includes multiple varieties of classical music, folk music, filmy, Indian rock and Indian pop. India's classical music tradition, including Hindustani music and Carnatic, has a history spanning millennia and developed over several areas. Music in India began as an integral part of socio-religious life. History the 30,000 years old Paleolithic and Neolithic cave paintings at the UNESCO World Heritage Site at Bimbetka Rock Shelters in Madhya Pradesh shows music instruments and dance. Dancing girl sculpture 2500 BCE was found from the Indus Valley Civilization IVC site. There are IVC era paintings on pottery of a man with a DHOL hanging from his neck and a woman holding a drum under her left arm. Vedas C 1500 C 800 BCE Vedic period document rituals with performing arts and play. For example, Shatapatha Brahmana approximately 800 to 700 BCE has verses in chapter 13.2 written in the form of a play between two actors. Tala or Tal is an ancient music concept traceable to Vedic era texts of Hinduism, such as the Samaveda and methods for singing the Vedic hymns. Smriti 500 BCE to 100 BCE post Vedic Hindu texts include Valmiki S Ramayana 500 BCE to 100 BCE which mentions dance and music dance by asparas such as Urvashi Ramba Manaka Tulatama Panchasparas and Ravana S wives excelling in Narityagita or singing and dancing and N Ridavaditra or playing musical instruments Music and singing by Gandharvas, several string instruments Veena, Tantri, Vipansi and Velaki similar to Veena, wind instruments Shanka, Venu and Venugana, likely a mouth organ made by tying several flutes together, Raga including Kashika such as Raag Kashik Dwani, vocal registers Seven Svara or Sur, Anna or Ekashirti drag note, Murchana the regulated rise and fall of voice in Matra and Tripramana threefold teen tall laya such as Drut or Quick, Madhya or Middle, and Vilambit or Slow, Poetry recitation in Bala Kanda and also in Atara Kanda by Love and Kusha in Marga style. Under the Kilgis, there were concerts and competitions between Hindustani and Carnatic musicians. Madhava Kandali, 14th century Assamese poet and writer of Saptakanda Ramayana, lists several instruments in his version of Ramayana, such as Murdala, Kumuchi, Bemachi, Dagar, Gradle, Ramtal, Tabal, Jajar, Jinjiri, Bari Mahari, Tokari, Dosari, Kendara, Dotara, Veena, Rudra Vipanchi, etc., meaning that these instruments existed since his time in 14th century or earlier. The Indian system of notation is perhaps the world's oldest and most elaborate. Topic. Classical music Topic. The two main traditions of Indian classical music are Carnatic music, which is found predominantly in the peninsular regions, and Hindustani music, which is found in the northern, eastern and central regions. The basic concepts of this music includes shruti microtones, swaras notes, alankar ornamentations, raga melodies improvised from basic grammars, and tala rhythmic patterns used in percussion. Its tonal system divides the octave into 22 segments called shrutis, not all equal but each roughly equal to a quarter of a whole tone of the Western music. <inaudible> Hindustani music the tradition of Hindustani music dates back to Vedic times where the hymns in the Sama Veda, an ancient religious text, were sung as samagana and not chanted. It diverged from Carnatic music around the 13th-14th century CE, primarily due to Islamic influences. Developing a strong and diverse tradition over several centuries, it has contemporary traditions established primarily in India but also in Pakistan and Bangladesh. In contrast to Carnatic music, the other main Indian classical music tradition originating from the south, Hindustani music was not only influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, historical Vedic philosophy and native Indian sounds but also enriched by the Persian performance practices of the Mughals. Classical genres are Drupad, Damar, Kyle, Tarana and Sadra, and there are also several semi-classical forms. Topic. Carnatic music. Topic. Carnatic music can be traced to the 14th–15th centuries AD and thereafter. 
It originated in South India during the rule of Vijayanagar Empire. Like Hindustani music, it is melodic, with improvised variations, but tends to have more fixed compositions. It consists of a composition with improvised embellishments added to the piece in the forms of Raga Alapana, Kalpanaswaram, Naraval, and, in the case of more advanced students, Raga, Tala, Pallavi. The main emphasis is on the vocals as most compositions are written to be sung, and even when played on instruments, they are meant to be performed in a singing style known as gayaki. Around 300 ragams are in use today. Animeya is the first known composer in Carnatic music. He is widely regarded as the Andhra Pada Kavita Patamaha godfather of Telugu song writing. Purandara Dasa is considered the father of Carnatic music, while the later musicians Tyagaraja, Shyama Shastri, and Mutuswami Dikshitar are considered the trinity of Carnatic music. Noted artists of Carnatic music include Aryakudi Ramanuja Iyengar, the father of the current concert format, Semangudi Srinivasa Iyer, Alathar Brothers, M. S. Subhakshmi, Lalgudi Jayaraman, and more recently Balamurali Krishna, T. N. Seshagapalan, K. J. Yasudas, N. Ramani, Umayalparam K. Sivaraman, San. J. Subramanian, T. M. Krishna, Bombay Jayashri, T. S. Nandakumar, Aruna Sairam, and Mysore Manjanath. Every December, the city of Chennai in India has its eight week long music season, which is the world's largest cultural event. Carnatic music has served as the foundation for most music in South India, including folk music, festival music, and has also extended its influence to film music in the past 100 to 150 years or so. Topic. Light classical music Topic. There are many types of music which comes under the category of light classical or semi-classical. Some of the forms are thumari, dadra, ghazal, chaiti, kajri, tapa, natya sangeet and kawali. These forms place emphasis on explicitly seeking emotion from the audience, as opposed to the classical forms. Folk music Topic Topic Tamang Silo Topic This is a genre of Nepali folk song of the Tamang people and popular amongst the Nepali speaking community in West Bengal, Sikkim, and around the world. It is accompanied by Tamang instruments, the madal, damfu and tungna, although nowadays musicians have taken to modern instruments. A Tamang silo can be catchy and lively or slow and melodious, and is usually sung to convey sorrow, love, happiness or day-to-day -day incidents and stories of folklore. Hira Devi Weba is hailed as the pioneer of Nepali folk songs and Tamang silo. Her song, Chura Ta Hoina Astora, Hira Ta Hoina Astora is said to be the first Tamang silo ever recorded. She has sung nearly 300 songs through her musical career spanning 40 years. After Waiba's death in 2011, her son Satya Waiba and Navneet Aditya Waiba collaborated and re-recorded her most iconic songs and released an album titled Amalai Shraddhanjali Amalai Shraddhanali Tribute to Mother. <laughs> Rabindra Sangeet Music of Bengal Rabindra Sangeet Bengali, Rabindra Sangeeta Rabindro Shangit, Bengali pronunciation, Obindo Oit, also known as Tagore songs, are songs written and composed by Rabindranath Tagore. They have distinctive characteristics in the music of Bengal, popular in India and Bangladesh. Sangeet means music. Rabindra Sangeet means music or more aptly songs of Rabindra. Tagore wrote some 2,230 songs in Bengali, now known as Rabindra Sangeet, using classical music and traditional folk music as sources. <laughs> Bihu of Assam Bihu, Assamese, Bihu is the festival of New Year of Assam falling on mid-April. This is a festival of nature and Mother Earth where the first day is for the cows and buffaloes. The second day of the festival is for the man. Bihu dances and songs accompanied by traditional drums and wind instruments are an essential part of this festival. Bihu songs are energetic and with beats to welcome the festive spring. Assamese drums DHOL, pepa, usually made from buffalo horn, gagona are major instruments used. Topic. Sufi folk rock, Sufi rock. 
Topic. Sufi folk rock contains elements of modern hard rock and traditional folk music with Sufi poetry. While it was pioneered by bands like Janoon in Pakistan it became very popular, especially in North India. In 2005, Rabbi Shergal released a Sufi rock song called, Bulla Ki Jana, which became a chart topper in India and Pakistan. More recently, the Sufi folk rock song, Bulia, from the 2016 film A Dil Hai Mushkal became a mammoth hit. Topic. Dandia Topic. Dandia or Raas is a form of Gujarati cultural dance that is performed with sticks. The present musical style is derived from the traditional musical accompaniment to the folk dance. It is practiced mainly in the state of Gujarat. There is also another type of dance and music associated with Dandia, Raas called Garba. Topic. Uttarakhandi music Topic. Uttarakhandi folk music had its root in the lap of nature and the hilly terrain of the region. Common themes in the folk music of Uttarakhand are the beauty of nature, various seasons, festivals, religious traditions, cultural practices, folk stories, historical characters, and the bravery of ancestors. The folk songs of Uttarakhand are a reflection of the cultural heritage and the way people live their lives in the Himalayas. Musical instruments used in Uttarakhand music include the Dhol, Damun, Turi, Ransinga, Dolki, Dor, Tali, Bankora and Masakbaja. Tabla and harmonium are also sometimes used, especially in recorded folk music from the 1960s onwards. Generic Indian and global musical instruments have been incorporated in modern popular folks by singers like Narendra Singh Negi, Mohan Upreti, Gopal Babu Goswami, and Chandra Singh Rahi. Lavani Lavani comes from the word Lavanya which means beauty. This is one of the most popular forms of dance and music that is practiced all over Maharashtra. It has, in fact, become a necessary part of the Maharashtrian folk dance performances. Traditionally, the songs are sung by female artists, but male artists may occasionally sing Lavanis. The dance format associated with Lavani is known as Tamasha. Lavani is a combination of traditional song and dance, which particularly performed to the enchanting beats of Dolaki, a drum-like instrument. The dance is performed by attractive women wearing nine-yard saris. They are sung in a quick tempo. Lavani originated in the arid region of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. Topic. Rajasthan Topic. Rajasthan has a very diverse cultural collection of musician castes, including Langas, Sapara, Bopa, Jogi and Manganiyar lit. The ones who ask, beg. Rajasthan Diary quotes it as a soulful, full-throated music with harmonious diversity. The melodies of Rajasthan come from a variety of instruments. The stringed variety includes the sarangi, rivanahatha, kamayacha, morsing and ektera. Percussion instruments come in all shapes and sizes from the huge nagaras and doles to the tiny damaris. The daf and chong are a favorite of holi the festival of colors revelers. Flutes and bagpipers come in local flavors such as shanay, pungi, algoza, tarpi, bin and bankia. Rajasthani music is derived from a combination of string instruments, percussion instruments and wind instruments accompanied by renditions of folk singers. It enjoys a respectable presence in Bollywood music as well. Topic. Popular music Topic. Topic. Filmy music Topic. The biggest form of Indian popular music is filmy, or songs from Indian films, it makes up 72% of the music sales in India. The film industry of India supported music by according reverence to classical music while utilizing the Western orchestration to support Indian melodies. 
Music composers, like R. D. Berman, Shankar J. Kishan, S. D. Berman, Maidan Mohan, Bhupen Hazarika, Naushad Ali, O. P. Nayar, Hemant Kumar, C. Ram Chandra, Salil Chowdhury, Kalyanji Anandji, Ilaya Raja, A. R. Rahman, Jatin Lalit, Anu Malik, Nadim Shravan, Harris Jayraj, Himesh Reshamiya, Vidyasagar, Shankar Isan Loy, Salim Suleiman, Pritam, M. S. Viswanathan, K. V. Mahadevan, Gantasala, and S. D. Bhattish employed the principles of harmony while retaining containing classical and folk flavor. Reputed names in the domain of Indian classical music like Ravi Shankar, Vilayat Khan, Ali Akbar Khan and Ram Narayan have also composed music for films. Traditionally, in Indian films, the voice for the songs is not provided by the actors, they are provided by the professional playback singers, to sound more developed, melodious and soulful, while actors lip-sync on the screen. In the past, only a handful of singers provided the voice in Hindi films. These include Kishore Kumar, K. J. Yesudas, Muhammad Rafi, Mukesh, S. P. Balasubramaniam, T. M. Soundararajan, Hemant Kumar, Mana Day, P. Sushila, Lata Mangeshkar, Asha Bonsal, K. S. Chitra, Gita Dutt, S. Janaki, Shamshid Begum, Saraya, Norjahan, and Suman Kalyanpur. Recent playback singers include Udit Narayan, Kumar Sanu, Kalash Kare, Alisha Chennai, K.K., San, Madhushri, Shreya Ghoshal, Nahira Joshi, Kavita Krishnamurti, Haraharan, singer, Ilaya Raja, A.R. Rahman, Sonu Nigam, Sukhwinder Singh, Kunal Ganjawala, Anu Malik, Suniti Chohan, Anushka Manchanda, Raja Hassan, Arijit Singh and Alka Yagnik. Rock bands like Indus Creed, Indian Ocean, Silk Root and Euphoria have gained mass appeal with the advent of cable music television. Topic. Interaction with non-Indian music Topic. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, rock and roll fusions with Indian music were well known throughout Europe and North America. Ali Akbar Khan's 1955 performance in the United States was perhaps the beginning of this trend. Jazz pioneers such as John Coltrane, who recorded a composition entitled, India, during the November 1961 sessions for his album Live at the Village Vanguard, the track was not released until 1963 on Coltrane's album Impressions, also embraced this fusion. George Harrison of the Beatles played the sitar on the song. Norwegian Wood, This Bird Has Flown, in 1965, which sparked interest from Shankar, who subsequently took Harrison as his apprentice. Jazz innovator Miles Davis recorded and performed with musicians like Khalil Balakrishna, Bihari Sharma, and Badal Roy in his post-1968 electric ensembles. Virtuoso jazz guitarist John McLaughlin spent several years in Madurai learning Carnatic music and incorporated it into many of his acts including Shakti which featured prominent Indian musicians. Other Western artists such as the Grateful Dead, Incredible String Band, the Rolling Stones, the Move and Traffic soon incorporated Indian influences and instruments, and added Indian performers. Legendary Grateful Dead frontman Jerry Garcia joined guitarist Sanjay Mishra on his classic CD. Blue Incantation, 1995. Mishra also wrote an original score for French director Eric Human for his film Porte de Gemma, 1996, which won Best Score at Hamptons Film Festival and the Golden Bear at Berlin. In 2000, he recorded Rescue with drummer Dennis Chambers, Carlos Santana, John McLaughlin et al., and in 2006, Chateau Benares with guests DJ Logic and Keller Williams, guitar and bass. Though the Indian music craze soon died down among mainstream audiences, die-hard fans and immigrants continued the fusion. In 1985, a beat-oriented, raga-rock hybrid called Sitar Power by Ashwin Bhattish reintroduced sitar in Western nations. Sitar Power drew the attention of a number of record labels and was snapped up by Shanashi Records of New Jersey to head their world beat ethno-pop division. In the late 1980s, Indian-British artists fused Indian and Western traditions to make the Asian underground. Since the 1990s, Canadian-born musician Nadaka who has spent most of his life in India, has been creating music that is an acoustic fusion of Indian classical music with Western styles. One such singer who has merged the Bhakti Sangeet tradition of India with the Western non-Indian music is Krishna Das and sells music records of his musical sadhana. Another example is the Indo-Canadian musician Vandana Vishwas who has experimented with Western music in her 2013 album Monologues. 
In the new millennium, American hip hop has featured Indian filmy and Bhangra. Mainstream hip hop artists have sampled songs from Bollywood movies and have collaborated with Indian artists. Examples include Timbaland's Indian Flute, Eric Sermon and Redman's React, Slum Village's Disco, and Truth Hurts. Hit song, Addictive, which sampled a Lata Mangeshkar song, and the Black Eyed Peas sampled Asha Bosley's song Ye Mera Dil in their hit single Don. T Funk with My Heart. In 1997, the British band Corner Shop paid tribute to Asha Bosley with their song Brimful of Asha, which became an international hit. British born Indian artist Punjabi MC also had a Bhangra hit in the US with Mundian Tabak K, which featured rapper Jay Z. Asian Dub Foundation are not huge mainstream stars, but their politically charged rap and punk rock influenced sound has a multi racial audience in their native UK. In 2008, international star Snoop Dogg appeared in a song in the film Sing as Kin. In 2007, hip hop producer Madlib released Beat Conducta Vol. 3 4, Beat Conducta in India, an album which heavily samples and is inspired by the music of India. Sometimes, the music of India will fuse with the traditional music of other countries. For example, Delhi 2 Dublin, a band based in Canada, is known for fusing Indian and Irish music, and Bangrashan is a fusion of Bhangra music with reggaeton, which itself is a fusion of hip hop, reggae, and traditional Latin American music. In a more recent example of Indian British fusion, Laura Marling along with Mumford and Sons collaborated in 2010 with the Darohar Project on a four song EP. The British band Bombay Bicycle Club also sampled the song, Man Dole Mera Tan Dole. For their single, Feel. Topic. Indian pop music Topic. Indian pop music is based on an amalgamation of Indian folk and classical music, and modern beats from different parts of the world. Pop music really started in the South Asian region with the playback singer Ahmed Rushdie's song Koko Karina in 1966, followed initially by Muhammad Rafi in the late 1960s and then by Kishore Kumar in the early 1970s. After that, much of Indian pop music comes from the Indian film industry, and until the 1990s, few singers like Usha Uttup, Sharon Prabhakar, and Pinas Masani outside it were popular. Since then, pop singers in the latter group have included Daler Mendy, Baba Sagal, Alicia Chennai, K.K., Shantanu Mukherjee a.k.a. San, Sagarika, Colonial Cousins, Hara Haran, Lesel Lewis, Lucky Ali, and Sonu Nigam, and music composers like Zilla Khan or Jawahar Wadal, who made top selling albums with Daler Mendy, Shuba Mudgal, Baba Sagal, Shweta Shetty, and Hans Raj Hans. Besides those listed above, popular indie pop singers include Sanam, Band, Gurdas Mann, Sukhwinder Singh, Papone, Zubin Garg, Raghav Sachar Ragashwari, Vandana Vishwas, Devika Chala, Bombay Vikings, Asha Bosli, Suniti Chohan, Anushka Manchanda, Bombay Rockers, Anu Malik, Jazzy B, Malkit Singh, Raghav, Jay Sean, Juggy D, Rishi Rich, Sheila Chandra, Bali Sagu, Punjabi MC, Bhangra Knights, Manaz, Sanabur, and Vishali Samant. Recently, Indian pop has taken an interesting turn with the remixing of songs from past Indian movie songs, new beats being added to them. Topic. Rock and metal music Topic. Topic. Raga Rock Topic. Raga Rock is rock or pop music with a heavy Indian influence, either in its construction, its timbre, or its use of instrumentation, such as the sitar and tabla. Raga and other forms of classical Indian music began to influence many rock groups during the 1960s, most famously the Beatles. The first traces of Raga Rock can be heard on songs such as See My Friends by The Kinks and The Yardbirds. Heart Full of Soul, released the previous month, featured a sitar-like riff by guitarist Jeff Beck. The Beatles song Norwegian Wood, This Bird Has Flown, which first appeared on the band. S. 1965 album Rubber Soul, was the first Western pop song to actually incorporate the sitar played by lead guitarist George Harrison. The Birds 
March 1966 single 8 Miles High and its B-side were also influential in originating the musical subgenre. Indeed, the term Raga Rock was coined by the Birds. Publicist in the press releases for the single and was first used in print by journalist Sally Kempton in her review of 8 Miles High for the Village Voice. George Harrison's interest in Indian music popularized the genre in the mid 1960s with songs such as Love You Too, Tomorrow Never Knows, credited to Lennon McCartney, Within You Without You, and The Inner Light. The rock acts of the 60s both in turn influenced British and American groups and Indian acts to develop a later form of Indian rock. Topic: <inaudible> Indian rock. Topic: The rock music scene in India is small compared to the filmy or fusion musicality scenes, but as of recent years has come into its own, achieving a cult status of sorts. Rock music in India has its origins in the 1960s when international stars such as the Beatles visited India and brought their music with them. These artists' collaboration with Indian musicians such as Ravi Shankar and Zakir Hussain have led to the development of Raga Rock. International shortwave radio stations such as The Voice of America, BBC, and Radio Salon played a major part in bringing Western pop, folk, and rock music to the masses. Indian rock bands began to gain prominence only much later, around the late 1980s. It was around this time that the rock band Indus Creed formerly known as The Rock Machine got itself noticed on the international stage with hits like Rock and Roll Renegade. Other bands quickly followed. As of now, the rock music scene in India is quietly growing day by day and gathering more support. With the introduction of MTV in the early 1990s, Indians began to be exposed to various forms of rock such as grunge and speed metal. This influence can be clearly seen in many Indian bands today. The cities of the northeastern region, mainly Guwahati and Shillong, Kolkata, Delhi, Mumbai and Bangalore have emerged as major melting pots for rock and metal enthusiasts. Bangalore has been the hub for rock and metal movement in India. Some prominent bands include Nicotine, Voodoo Child, Indian Ocean, Cryptos, Thermal and A Quarter, Demonic Resurrection, Motherjohn, Aviel, and Parikrama. The future looks encouraging thanks to entities such as Dogmat One Records and Eastern Fair Music Foundation that are dedicated to promoting and supporting Indian rock. From Central India, Nicotine, an indoor-based metal band, is widely credited of being the pioneer of metal music in the region. Topic. Dance music Topic. Topic. Jazz and blues Topic. Topic. Western classical music Topic. The spread and following of Western classical music in India is almost entirely non-existent. It is mainly patronized by the Indian Zoroastrian community and small esoteric groups with historical exposure to Western classical music. Another esoteric group with significant patronage is the Protestant Christian community in Chennai and Bangalore. Western music education is also severely neglected and pretty rare in India. Western keyboard, drums and guitar instruction being an exception as it has found some interest, mainly in an effort to create musicians to service contemporary popular Indian music. Many reasons have been cited for the obscurity of Western classical music in India, a country rich in its musical heritage by its own right, however, the two main reasons are an utter lack of exposure and a passive disinterest in what is considered esoteric at best. The difficulty in importing Western musical instruments and their rarity have also contributed to the obscurity of classical Western music. Despite more than a century of exposure to Western classical music and two centuries of British colonialism, classical music in India has never gained more than fringe popularity. Many attempts to popularize Western classical music in India have failed in the past due to disinterest and lack of sustained efforts. Today, Western classical music education has improved with the help of numerous institutions in India. 
Institutions like KM Music Conservatory founded by Oscar-winning composer A. R. Rahman, Calcutta School of Music, Eastern Fair Music Foundation, Delhi School of Music, Delhi Music Academy, Guitarmonk and many others are dedicated to contributing to the progress or growth and supporting Western classical music. In 1930, Meli Mehta set up the Bombay Symphony Orchestra. The Bombay Chamber Orchestra BCO was founded in 1962. In 2006, the Symphony Orchestra of India was founded, housed at the NCPA in Mumbai. It is today the only professional symphony orchestra in India and presents two concert seasons per year, with world-renowned conductors and soloists. Some prominent Indians in Western classical music are, Andre de Quadros, conductor and music educator Zubin Mehta, conductor Meli Mehta, father of Zubin, violinist and founding conductor of the Bombay Symphony Orchestra Anil Srinivasan, pianist Ilaya Araja, the first Indian to compose a full symphony performed by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London's Walthamstow Town Hall Naresh Sohal, British Indian-born composer Param Veer, British Indian-born composer Topic Patriotism and music Topic Patriotic feeling have been instigated within Indians through music since the era of the freedom struggle. Jana Gana Mana, the national anthem of India by Rabindranath Tagore, is largely credited for uniting India through music and Vand Mataram by Bankam Chandra Chattopadhyay as the national song of India. Patriotic songs were also written in many regional languages such as Biswo Bizoyi no Zuwan in Assamese. Post-independence songs such as I Mir Watan K Logo, Mile Sir Mera Tumara, A Flat Tumare Hawale Watan Sathio, Ma Tuja Salam by A. R. Rahman have been responsible for consolidating feelings of national integration and unity in diversity. Topic see also topic topic References topic topic Further reading topic Day, Joshi, O.P. 1982. The Changing Social Structure of Music in India. International Social Science Journal. 34 94 625 Day Charles Russell 1891 The Music and Musical Instruments of Southern India and the Deccan Adam Charles Black London Clements Sir Ernest 1913 Introduction to the Study of Indian Music Longmans Green and Co London Strangways A H Fox 1914 The Music of Hindustan Oxford at the Clarendon Press London Popley Herbert Arthur 1921 the Music of India. Association Press, Calcutta. Kilius, Rolf. Ritual Music and Hindu Rituals of Kerala. New Delhi, B.R. Rhythms, 2006. Moodle, Patrick 2012. Hindustani Gata S. Compilation, Instrumental Themes in North Indian Classical Music. Ruan, Patrick Moodle Publisher. ISBN 978-2-9541244-1-4. Moodle, Patrick a Comparative Study of Selected Hindustani Raga S. New Delhi, Munshiram Manoharlal Publishers Private Limited. ISBN 81-215-0526-7. Moodle, Patrick Hindustani Raga S. Index. New Delhi, Munshiram Manoharlal Publishers Private Limited. Manuel, Peter. Thumri in Historical and Stylistic Perspectives. New Delhi, Mutalal Banarsidas, 1989. Manuel, Peter. Cassette Culture, Popular Music and Technology in North India. University of Chicago Press, 1993. ISBN 0-226-50401-8. Wade, Bonnie C. 1987. Music in India, The Classical Traditions. New Dehi, India, Manohar, 1987, t. p. 1994. XIX, 1, 252p, Ampli Ill, including with examples in musical notation. ISBN 81-85054-25-8 Maycock, Robert and Hunt, Ken. How to Listen, A Route Map of India, 2000. In Broughton, Simon and Ellingham, Mark with McConaughey, James and Duane, Orla, ed., World Music, Volume 2, Latin and North America, Caribbean, India, Asia and Pacific, pp 63-69. Rough Guides Limited, Penguin Books. ISBN 1-85828-636-0 Hunt, Ken. Ragas and Riches, 2000. In Broughton, Simon and Ellingham, Mark with McConaughey, James and Duane, Orla, ed., World Music, Volume 2, Latin and North America, Caribbean, India, Asia and Pacific, pp 70-78. Rough Guides Limited, Penguin Books. ISBN 1-85828-636-0. Hindu Music, 2011. 
Columbia Electronic Encyclopedia, 6th edition, 1. Emmy T. Nijinhus, 1977, A History of Indian Literature, Musicological Literature, Otto Harrisovitz Verlag, ISBN 978-3447018319, OCLC 299648131 Natya Sastra Ancient Indian Theory and Practice of Music translated by M. Ghosh External links Topic. BBC Radio 3 Audio 45 minutes, The Nizamuddin Shrine in Delhi. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 45 minutes, A Mafil Sufi Gathering in Karachi. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 60 minutes, The Misra Brothers Perform Vedic Chant. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 60 minutes, Ricky Ram and Sons, Nizami Brothers. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 60 minutes, Rajasthan, Bombay and Trilok Gurtu. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 45 minutes, Gujarat, Praful Dave. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 45 minutes, Courtesan Songs and Music of the Balls. Accessed November 25, 2010. BBC Radio 3 Audio 60 minutes, Music from the Golden Temple of Amritsar. Accessed November 25, 2010. In English in French, Hindustani Rag Sangeet Online, a rare collection of more than 800 audio and video archives from 1902.